thing work? Let me get that. Puzzles like this thing can be tricky. Thanks, friend. Yoink! Oi! That's my correspondence you're nabbing. Uh, it's our correspondence now? We're equal partners, remember? Thank heck it's hey, someone to split the bills with. Morning. You're awake. Obviously she's awake. Unless I'm sleepwalking. Uh, I swear, half the stuff humans say is just pointing out what's in front of their eyes. You're here, my bagel's ready. Oh look, a Six Flags. There's bagels? Just coffee, still fresh. Eh, that'll do. So, what's on the docket for today? Let's see, that suspected possession case for the Hill family daughter is still open. She's faking it. Next. An envoy from Asgard wants to talk to us about something called the Trevor Blight. Ugh, they can keep him. Wish they got the bug out of our hair. I'll schedule an appointment. Oh, and it looks like Casanova's popped up again. Ugh, I hate dealing with that punce. Casanova? Are you talking in code or is... Silent Cinema's greatest movie star somehow alive and causing trouble in the Queen City? Casanova's a hobgoblin, lives under the Winnipeg Street Bridge. He's learned how to take on the shape of an extremely handsome man, and he likes to run romance scams on lonely widows. His real name is Rosgobber, but we call him Casanova. You know what, Valentine? You could probably break his enchantment remotely if you use our new leyline connection. Cracking a case without getting up from my desk? Finally, the universe listens. Let me just clear my desk. Valentine, really? I'll take care of it after. No, he won't. <laughs> All right, you pesky old goblin heartbreaker. Where are you? Is that your new radio tower tattoo? Yep. It's a magical Wi-Fi button. A little weird, but I like it. Thread, we've got a problem. Maybe you need to see Anne about your new ink. Get it recharged? No, this ink isn't Anne's. This spell connects to the Leyline router. In the basement. Woo! The basement! Thread, can you go and check the router? I think you need to face your fears, Valentine. I swear to you, there's something down there. What's down there? He thinks there's a monster in the basement. A bog monster? This, from a guy who fights monsters on a bi-weekly basis. Is that a thing? I've never heard of a bog monster. That's because they don't exist. No! No, no, no. When I was young, my mother told me all kinds of stories about bog monsters. And I'm telling you, there's one of those things in the basement waiting to chew on my toes. Aw, maybe it's just lonely and chewing on toes is its love language. Valentine, if bog monsters were real, which as a centuries old supernatural being, I can tell you that they're not, how would they even get here? I don't know. We found a kappa in a dumpster behind our handlings and a puka in a shed. And may I remind you, we've got an inhaler full of sentient fungal hallucination. I have been down there a thousand times. I have never seen nor heard any kind of monster. That's because you're flying around above the floor. You're not walking around with your toes all exposed and tasty looking. And that sounds like you're going down in the basement in your bare feet. That's dangerous, Valentine. That's what I'm saying! I'm going to run out and get us some breakfast while you work out the weird triggers your parents left you. Oh, okay? Uh, oh, uh, pick up some bagels and cream cheese. Always. Love you. Love you too. Even if you are abandoning me to a bog monster. Do we have some kind of protective tape for my toes? Get down there! Get 
down there, Valentine. It's fine. There's no such thing as bug monsters. Nash in the hells. Okay. Just a furnace. Can't bite your toes. Are you okay down there? Yeah, just, you know, furnace. How does the router box look? It appears to run off of magic. I don't know, it looks like a box with a little blinky lights and symbols. Try turning it off and back on again? Nah, I know exactly what I'm doing here. Quick, Valentine, before the bog monster shows up. I'm going to turn it off and back on again. Oh, great idea. I wish I had thought of that. Okay, it's back on now, but I don't think it's connecting. There should be some symbols on the display. Uh, yeah, it's Ram Ram Acorn Christmas Tree? Fern! Fern! Looking it up! Oh, uh... What? Hang on, I'm coming down there! Did you say Ram Ram Acorn Fern? Yes. That's not good. Well, what does the manual say? It literally just says that's not good in really big letters. Well, who wrote the manual? Zero? <laughs> you wish. Druids. Thread? Please don't tell me I have to call a druid for tech support. Please. But druids are so friendly. They're not friendly. They're wankers. Think they're better than everyone because they're so in touch with nature. They'll tell me that I need to connect with the moon or commune with orchids or something. You just you just hear the condescension in their voice. Look, once we fix the connection, you can get back to never having to leave the office all day. But I okay, you know what? When you put it that way. Okay, I'll be upstairs if you need me. And remember, there's still no monster. Hello, you've reached Queen City Ley Lines. For service in French, press 1. For Elvish, press 2. For Mountain Elvish, press 3. For Alluvial Plains Elvish, press... Oh, for the love of gods, just pass me through to someone, will you? I lay on boxes all coals and coke. You have chosen Affected Cockney Dialect. Please hold. I'm not sure I appreciate that. Greetings, Governor. It's still the flowers, in it? What's your weep and wail? No. No. Please don't do that. Very well, sir. How can I help you? It looks like my ley line router isn't working. I can't run any remote spells right now. Are there any devices running in your home that might interfere with the signal? such as dimensional or temporal portals, active alchemical runes, or microwaves? No, I... Wait. Thread! Is the microwave running? Not anymore! No, none of those things. But, um, what about, oh, uh, I don't know, a bog monster? What? You know, maybe a bog monster could mess with the signal, try to lure you into a secluded area. Sir, are you at the box right now? Yes. Have you turned it... Off and on again, yes. Can you try it again, please? What for? Please power down the device, let it click at least three times, then turn it on again. Okay... All right, 
quite done. I don't think you turned it off and on again, sir. What are you talking about? Of course I did. Sir, please power down the device. Wait for... Three clicks. Yeah, but no, all right. All right, fine. Thank you. Do you see an array of symbols? Yes. Ram, ram, acorn, fern. Hmm. That's not good. You know, it's funny. I read that in the manual. I'm going to transfer you to one of our LT specialists. Please hold. Oh great, time to talk to a druid. Are you drinking enough nectar of the mother? Do you recycle? Wankers. Queen City Leyline Super High Level Tech Support. Zero day? Bubbles! I hear your router is all cold and cold. Never do that again. Also, can I just talk to a druid? Listen to me, Valentine. There's no time. You have to get out of there. What? Why? Your box is reading Ram Ram Acorn Fern. That's a double RAF bearer code. You stumbled onto a secret that the druids don't want anyone to know about. If it gets out, we're in a world of trouble. What is it? Certain... Entities interfere with ley lines. If the supernatural community knew that one of those creatures was loose in the Queen City, there would be panic. What, what kind of, of creature? Bog monster. I knew it. It's coming for you, Valentine. It's gonna eat your toes, and it's gonna... <laughs> it's gonna... <laughs> I can't believe you bought it. Here you are, the great Valentine, fighting monsters all the time. <laughs> and you're scared of a made-up monster. <laughs> Fred Herbert told me about it. I thought she was joking. <laughs> Zero? Yes? What is wrong with my ley line router? How should I know? I'm not a druid. I just hacked into your call. Ash and hells. <laughs> hey, did you turn it off and on again? Put me back on the lawn with a druid, you trog. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Queen City Ley Lines. For service in... It's, it's, it's me again. We got cut off. I'm reading Ram Ram Acorn Fern. I need to speak to a specialist. La, yada, yada, yada. Hold, please. This is never going to end. Queen City Ley Lines tech support. Yeah, my Ley Line router. But... Hold up. Am I talking to the same person? We've had some reductions in staff. Okay then, so... First step, please take your woven wand... My what now? And use it to bless your twice-preserved toad... Definitely don't have one of those. Really? And you claim to be a magician? <sighs> Druids. Can you just send someone out? Our technicians are heavily booked up at the moment, but we can have someone out to you in only eight months. You wankers installed this thing less than a month ago. Hold on a moment. It looks like we have a cancellation. I can send someone out to you... 20 minutes ago. 20 minutes ago? A temporal rift has opened up in your area, caused by a retroactive cancellation. Of course, there are certain risks. Will it blow up the world? Lock us into an a-causal loop? Not the continuum into an insoluble paradox? I gotta keep making up words. It can interfere with ley line transmission. Oh, uh, well, that's not good. 
That's the technical term for it. Look, if it's going to get my router up and running, then let's do it. Certainly, sir. Please be aware that by employing a temporal rift, you hereby relinquish Queen City Ley Lines from all damages and liability incurred. In addition, you relinquish your personal experience of this temporal block, along with all knowledge of the proceedings. What do you mean, all knowledge of- Yoink! Oi! That's my correspondence you're nabbing. Uh, it's our correspondence now? We're equal partners, remember? Thank heck it's hey, someone to split the bills with. Morning. You're awake. Obviously she's awake. Unless... Unless you're sleepwalking, right? <laughs> you, you took my joke. It was totally spontaneous and you ruined it. Sorry, it just seems like I've heard it before. Valentine, did we have a problem with the Leyland router? I don't think so. Because there's a bill here for repair services dated... Weird. It looks like the router is scheduled for repair... right now? Valentine! You have to stop it! What am I stopping? Is it you talking to me? Can that stop? In a discarded timeline, you called tech support to fix your broken router, and now we risk getting trapped in a loop. We have to get to the basement before Leyline Services repairs the connection. What about the bug monster? There's no such thing as a bug monster! Just put your boots on, Valentine! Jeez! Hmm. There's, there's a note on the router. And it... An attempt was made to repair the device at 10.30 a.m. Repair could not be completed. Reason? Hostile animal or creature on premises. Note, ram ram acorn fern errors are not good. Capital letters. Please contact tech support as soon as possible. See? I told you there was a bog monster. Clearly the repair person showed up and got scared off. I bet they lost a toe. It was probably the furnace. That thing sounds like a monster when it fires up. Plus, they were definitely wearing shoes. Sweet. Guess that means the time loop is called off. Those things make me itchy. We don't need details. Is anyone hungry? I'm going to get some bagels. And cream cheese. Just get donuts, you weirdos. Do I have to keep telling you? So lonely. Wish I had a donut. You have been listening to The Graveyard Tapes, The Monster at the End of This Episode. Written by Aidan Morgan. Edited by Dustin Gray, Angela Dumalog, and Nikki Ewert. With the voices of Chase Hunter as Valentine, Rick the Whitebird as Threadripper, Nikki Ewert as Eris, Angela Dumalog as Zero Day, Pam Hernandez as The Operator, and Brian Herdlow as The Monster. <laughs>